And, oh god, it's starting. It's starting. Anything left on the ground will blow away, and I have got some stuff left on the ground. Okay, day 12. Stormy season's here. Geeks, what is going on? Unite the Clans here, back in your life with another episode of Don't Starve Shipwrecked. This, I hesitate to say it, is unlucky episode number 13. And our fifth is Walani, the cool, chill-out surfer chick. And one thing that's been going well for us, I mean, we built up what looks like a massive berry farm, starting to produce resources. We got a little twig farm, lots of flowers, lots of sweet potatoes, lots of grass here on this island. Obviously, science machine, alchemy engine, crockpot, from which we made ratatouille last time, and a drying rack. Dang, why do I always do this, stopping an episode right before dark? I was ready to go out and take on the world. Give it, give the world hell. Um, but I guess that's not going to be happening quite yet. Uh, I was going to say, something that has served us well so far in our run as Walani is being mobile. Is uh, not being stuck down to one place. So what I'm thinking... Uh, as this berry farm continues to produce resources, uh, I'm thinking we look for food. We scavenge, we find food elsewhere, and we don't wait for this berry farm to sustain us. Because it ain't gonna. Look how long it takes. You gotta plant it, you gotta fer- here, plant it. You gotta fertilize it, which I can't really do. I'm just gonna save up this manure. We're gonna need a lot more of it. Uh, and I got a lot more twigs. A lot more twigs. So we'll expand the twig farm. Uh, I was just in the middle of a point and I've completely forgotten what it was. You guys probably didn't even notice that I've gotten distracted. It's just me that's distracted myself. Maybe you do notice. Maybe it drives you nuts that I start saying something and then I get distracted by the game and I never come back to finish the point. Maybe you hate me because of that. Who knows? It's very possible. Uh, okay. Uh, let's feed this fire. Nope. Add fuel! There. Jeez. Okay. So we are underway. We got berries coming our way. We got some sweet potatoes, which I want to start making sustainable. They will not grow back, naturally. And so before I pick them, I want to get us going with a farm. I think you can put sweet potatoes on a farm. We're obviously drying some seaweed on this drying rack. We might need multiple drying racks, or we might need to use it for food more than uh, anything else. Crockpot hopefully will keep us sustained, will keep us healthy and fit, but we gotta make it through the night on day 11. Can you believe it? Day 11? Where's my board? I got a board up north. I got a board up north, and there we have been twice we've been to the north, and we did find an island up there, but there's gotta be more. Let's zoom out and see where we should go. You know what? I think we should go this way. I think we should go west. There's gotta be something to the south of this first island we started on, this cool beach one. I think that's the plan. I think that is the new game plan. Morning hits. We don't even have to wait for morning to hit. Give me my torch and we are headed for the... Oh, okay, morning hits. Fine. And, oh god, it's starting. It's starting. Anything left on the ground will blow away. And I have got some stuff left on the ground. Okay, day 12. Stormy season's here. If you got advice on how to overcome this thing, you tell me. Because, uh... I ain't got it figured out, and I guess I gotta go build a chest. I didn't want to build a chest yet. Yes, this farm is is yielding results as well. We are, oh, we're doing okay, actually. We are not, oh, I just picked a dead, uh, it's the evil flower. That, oh, there goes my grass. Come back to me. Uh, uh, yeah, so, that's fine. We don't need a grass farm. We have a veritable grass farm all around us. The twig farm was a necessity, but it's going now. These saplings are going to give us everything we need, and we can keep growing this one. This is an easy thing to grow. You don't need to fertilize saplings. God, I'm not ready for winter. I'm not, I don't know if it's even called winter. I'm not ready for stormy season. I'm going to take this. I'm going to take this berry bush. I'm going to take this, and maybe we can make ourselves another ratatouille before we hit... Okay, no, you know what? Time for something new. Uh, what keeps you dry? This. Straw hat. Straw hat will help. Oh man, bad things are happening. Look at this, it's storm season. Cook these, we'll throw a couple sweet pots in there. And you cook the whole thing. Close it, cook it, if you can, if it doesn't blow out of its own accord. Okay, it seems to have, seems to have let up a little bit. It's still early, but we're gonna wait for this to finish up. 
Hey, is this seaweed ready to go? No, it's not. That's going to be a while. I don't think drying seaweed on one of those is a fuel-efficient suggestion. Come on, Crock-Pot. Ratatouille. We got Ratatouille for the road. And we're going to find our air. There it is. Sailing, sailing board. Surfboard. That's what you call it. And we're headed west. We're going to set out in search of new lands yet again. Maybe we'll kill some jellyfish on the way. I got the inventory space, right? And I got the health. I'm not worried about jellyfish killing me. Okay, nothing to worry about out here now. Oh, although we're headed into the waves, but with the wind. What a mess this is going to be. Oh, we're going to get rocked and blown about. You know it. So episode 13. That's a decent accomplishment. I, uh, I'm not sure how many I'd like to put in in this series. Uh, over the life of this game, I hope I can come back to it after I do my first run, my first sort of set of Let's Plays. Man, look at that jellyfish. It's getting blown left, right, and center, isn't it? Um, little water never hurt anyone. That's correct, Walani. A lot did, though. A lot of water can hurt somebody. It's very... Oh, yes. Things are better here. Look at this. Things are... We've discovered a new land. Let's eat this ratatouille. And we'll make some room in our inventory for seaweed. Seaweed's a good food source and hopefully one we can throw into the crock pot. Maybe drying it is a fool's move. I just tried that stuff because it was going bad. And I wanted to get it out of my inventory and I thought maybe by drying it it would... Who knows? I don't know. Let's, let's actually find some land. Yes, 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 yes. And another jellyfish. You forced my hand, you stupid jelly. Alright, let's see what we got here. This doesn't look terrible. This looks kind of like a island we visited in the past, but it's rich with resources. We can definitely trap some crab here and bring that back for the old stew pot. Uh, oh, oh, there's a lot we could bring back for the stew pot in this place. I should have em emptied my inventory before we left town, shouldn't I? I can't make a chest out here, can I? No, I'm just going to have to abandon some... Okay, empty bottles, abandoned. Uh, dark petals, abandoned. Gold coins abandoned we got we gotta get food in here that that's the main goal don't starve keep yourself from starving and other things i mean we haven't had much trouble with sanity the only kind of time we've been in any health trouble so far and uh i mean this there's a long way to go we haven't seen vicious hounds yet we haven't been attacked by anything we weren't expecting um okay so some coconut some limpet some jellyfish, maybe? Who knows? I didn't think I could put the jellyfish in my stew pot. Um, yeah, I mean, things could get worse, but we're doing okay. This The only health trouble we had is from voluntarily attacking jellyfish. And um, the only uh, sort of sanity... We haven't had any sanity trouble. It's just been hunger that we have to deal with. And I haven't even trapped anything. I haven't gone fishing. I mean, we've I haven't attacked a beehive or a pig for food. We've done it all just with foraging and scavenging. Uh, little seaweeds and berries some sweet pots. No meat. I mean, if we were that Hildebrand character or Gwen Hilda or whatever her name is, the Viking, where that only eats meat or something, I forget what her deal is, I mean, we'd be in trouble. We'd have to be playing a very different gameplay style, but... Wasabi, Walani, whatever her name is, is from the Pacific, so she survives on a diet of, of light grass, rice, and occasional fish. I don't know if that has anything to do with the game, but she does seem like a, a Hawaiian character or something, so I'm imagining she could, she could do well without, uh, without meat, a giant amount of meat in her diet. Although Hawaiians, they do like eating pork. Always pig roasts at luau's, right? I know nothing. Maybe she's not Hawaiian. Maybe she's Japanese or Chinese. Who knows? Okay, night is fallen again, again, and I'm on it. another unfriendly island. Let's get a fire going. Nope, don't want to build that. Too late, I already have. This island is pretty lame. There's not that much good stuff out here. Oh, look, it continues. Oh, all right. That's fine. Well, tomorrow we will head this way. Episode 13 coming up on day 13. How unlucky could this get? If we can make it through this day, 
Lord, I hope so. Okay, guys, I'm going to take my usual quick little break here, uh, survive the night, and I will come back with you guys at some point in the morning or when I've finished exploring the kind of the left side of this island, whatever the hell's over, over this way. I don't wait for dawn. I forage off walking through what appears to be the ocean. I'm sure land is on either side of me. Yes, I'm on some sort of land bridge here. It's totally buried underwater, but that's cool. We can handle it. We're off in search of a new day. Another day, another dollar. Get rich, get paid. You know what I'm you know what I'm saying? No, seriously, we're in search of some food to fill our crockpot worth until we can get some farms going. Uh, an upcoming goal, of course, is getting some manure. Maybe we attack some monkeys at some point. Maybe we give some monkeys a taste of hell. A taste of death and destruction from my my spear. Because how else am I going to get a good amount of poop? Like, what's his face? Theodosius. I don't even live on the same island as that guy. And I feed him four times. He poops once. That's inefficient. I should just collect my own fecal matter to use as fertilizer. Oh, the time has come. Log armor on. Spear, spear, I hear the pig, I hear them. I hear the, the vicious dogs. Where are you fools at? Do you hear them, guys? I hear them. I got a bad feeling about I hear them coming. Okay, eat this. I hear ya. Come on, come face me, you vicious beasts. Show some courage. Show some bravado. Let me destroy you in battle. Where are you at? Where are these things at? I'm getting attacked at some point here. There's some big dogs, and they're coming to kill me. I've, I've taken your advice, by the way. I think it was Peter who gave me the advice. Just keep the log suit in your inventory. Wear the backpack. And when you hear this sound, when you hear these vicious creatures attack, switch it up. But now I gotta go and search. I'm gonna have to leave my damn backpack out. There you are! You guys are gonna get wrecked. Is it just one of you? You're wrecked. Okay. Yeah, try that. Yeah, you're wrecked. Get destroyed. Okay, cool. We'll hang the monster. Maybe we'll make some monster stew with our stew pot. Oh, okay, go get that damn backpack. Lord. Okay, it's fine. We survived it. It wasn't even that bad. last thing I want to be doing right now is picking a fight with the jellyfish after coming out of that fight. It's all good. It's all good. We're dominating. We are doing well. Day 13 underway. Episode 13 roaring. You guys are just stuck right in the middle of this thing. Uh, what? I gotta clear up some inventory space. Uh, eat? I saw... No, I'm leaving that jellyfish. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Oh, I'll grab these seeds though. And we'll head back for our boat. Get off those seeds, you stupid bird. Yeah. And we'll head back for our boat, which is in the lower quadrant down there. We gotta get some of this food into the pot. Because hunger-wise, I ain't doing all that hot. Um, I mean, we've got the ratatouille. We know how to make that. I haven't had any disasters come out of my crock pot yet. I know for a fact that seeds do not provide food. You can use them in bird traps and you can eat them yourself. And you can plant them in farms, but you can't throw them in a crock pot and have it have anything good happen. Do we want to grab any of this crap before we go? Yes, I'll leave you. Do I have any nitre in my inventory? No, I don't. What's the most valuable thing here? The balloons? Bottles? Let's take the bottle. And we'll hop on this boat, this surfboard. And we'll, we'll head home. Maybe we'll head home a different way. We'll see what's just slightly to the south of here, and then we'll make a, a sharp turn back to the east. I mean, day 13, it's at least midday. It's at least noon on the 13th day of this run, and it's a definite record for this series. I mean, I was afraid to talk it up earlier, but I feel okay, guys. My plan was honestly just record it all in one sitting, because there's no way you'll last more than nine days. Well, guess what? Guess what? UTC's coming up on two hours deep into this batch recording, so... I mean, I've asked you guys for advice a couple of times throughout this episode. I probably won't be seeing it as I'm recording so much in advance, but at some point here, I'm just going to have to stop. I'm going to have to... Yeah, surf's up. I'm going to have to call it quits just so that I can uh, take a break. I don't have hours and hours to dedicate to this game tonight. I canceled the live stream to do some recording of this, so... It's good, though. We're... we're... We're, we're doing well, but what I'm terrified of now is you play the first 13 days in one sitting. Odd. And then if I make it to the end of this, if I'm not dead 
in the next few minutes. I mean, seriously, it's a genuine possibility with how things have gone in the past. If I can do that, then I might have to stop playing. How many episodes can I do record in a row before he starts losing his mind and his ability to speak? I, if anything, and this might be selling myself a little high, but if anything, I am an entertainer. That is my goal. I make these videos with the goal of entertaining you guys, maybe occasionally teaching you a lesson, maybe occasionally impressing you with my gameplay or my editing, but in general, I mean, you're watching because hopefully you like listening to me talk. I do a lot of that, but you get two hours into a recording session and Lord, maybe you run out of things to talk about. I'm gonna have to take some time off, which means when I come back to this game, I won't know how to play anymore. And we'll probably die promptly. Look at what we've made. That's not food at all. Okay. Okay. Cr Darkness will be here soon. No problem. No problem. We'll stoke this fire up big time. Uh, and... Uh... Oh, what have I done? That's fine. That's fine. And we'll grab this. What have I made? Dried seaweed. Which I can eat. Oh, tell me I can cook it. Okay, we can cook it with... I should save that. I bet it gets cooked with fish or something. Uh, okay, yeah, we'll take that. We're gonna go, what are we gonna throw on here? We're gonna throw on one monster meat in there, in the crock pot, with uh, one seaweed, two seaweed, and a berry. I don't have any berries in my inventory. Yeah, listen to that. That's kind of like a, that's a different sound. That sounded a little ukulele-ish. Okay, so that's our recipe. Monster meat, double seaweed, and a berry. And we're gonna cook it. Oh, cook it. Okay, now pick up these seeds. And let's cook these and eat these before we have to give them up. There we go. Eat, eat, eat. Okay, and we'll cook some berries because, man, I'd be starving. We'll cook some berries and maybe some sweet potatoes. We'll make whatever that was. Succotash. Not succotash. Ratatouille. Having this many berries, I wonder if we could survive off berries, or berries, like, maybe we can find a really good berry-related recipe. And we can just keep growing this farm, because getting the manure I need to really expand things, I don't know when that's gonna happen. Uh, where's, I got one more log in my inventory, don't I? No, I don't. Oh, that stomach's growling. What have we made? What have we made? That doesn't look all that good, does it? Uh, okay, let's throw a monster meat on the drying rack. We'll make some monster jerky, which does basically what monster meat does, but maybe it's a little less bad for you. Inspect! I cooked something yum, and it's called meatballs! Meatballs! So what was that? Double seaweed, monster meat, and cranberries. Lord, can I take this monster meat off here? If I knew I could make something that wasn't called monster, because I know there's a monster lasagna, and there's some kind of monster soup or stew, or I don't know what, but we've got meatballs, and we're starving. And look at how much they fill us up. Okay, that was that's a good recipe. UTC gonna need to cultivate some seaweed. We're gonna have to go kill some monsters, which tell ya, if I, I'll tell ya, I know how to find monsters right now. I can find us some monsters in a jiffy. You want some monster meat? You want some monster meat? Check this out. Whoa, saving. Come on, you snake. Nope, no monster meat there. Come on, where's the snakes at? Nope. All right, maybe monsters are a little harder to find than I thought. I hear one, where you at, you snake bastard? I'll, I'll cook you and eat you. You in a bamboo? You in one of these? Stupid. There, I spotted them. There's one right here. There you go, I told uh, two of them. Okay. Get chopped, get chopped. Yes! Okay, now we're gonna have to pick some berries to get our- our kid pick some flower petals at some point to get our health back up. Two more of these. Oh yes, let's see what we can make. Let's see what we can craft. I got the seaweed. I got the berries. Meatballs. Hell yes, we're gonna be eating a ton of meatballs. Oh, I'm excited. I- we found a recipe. You know what? Let's tweak it ever so slightly. Let's see if we can get away with one seaweed and two berries. Because we're gonna have more berries, right? So, two berries. One monster meat, one seaweed, and we cook ya. 
This, is this what you guys have been waiting to see? Is this what you've been waiting 13 episodes to see? Me actually doing okay in this game? Me thriving? I wouldn't say I'm thriving, but I am surviving. I am doing okay. And I've never been doing okay at this point. Oh yes, hell yes, it's meatballs. Awesome. Oh, I, I don't have the inventory space for meatballs. Uh, drop those. Take this. Nope. I said take these meatballs. And eat them. Oh, yes, meatballs are good for your life, good for your health, and we can make more right now. Oh, life is good, guys. This crock pot is a brilliant suggestion. Thank you, whoever it was. I think it was Peter way back, ages and ages and episodes ago, that said, get a damn crock pot, build a drying rack, and start feeding yourself like a real adult. And that's what I've been meaning to do. And maybe we'll drop uh, a couple berries on the ground. We, we can use berries to make rot as well, which we can use to make fertilizer, which we can use to make more berries, which we can use to make more fertilizer, which we can use to make more berries. It's a beautiful ongoing circle. As long as we can keep finding the plants, keep fertilizing them, I'm a happy man. Look at all these berries. We are a wealthy, a wealthy individual in the world of berries. <laughs> Am I just talking to... Yes, it has been too long. Okay, guys, this is the terrifying moment. I'm going to say goodbye to you, and I'm going to close the game that has now been running for approximately two hours. And the crazy thing is, I think I'm going to have five episodes, which is like almost two weeks worth of stuff. So I don't know when I'm going to record next. I'll try and make a point of doing it soon so that I'm not a totally unknowledgeable fool when I come back to play the rest of day 14 as Wolani. I appreciate you tuning in and watching. Oh, look at that. Meatballs are making our life good. Yes, I appreciate you. Appre Use your words, UTC. I appreciate you tuning in so far on the series. Day 14, by far a new record. And we are doing well. And I've got, I have to attribute it to playing all in one sitting. So when I come back, it may have been a while since I played. And I may die promptly because of that. So with that in mind, let's say goodbye. There will be another episode for you in a couple of days. Thank you so much for checking out this one and my run as Oilani Geeks. And I will see you all in the next episode. Fallout 4, episode 21. Me and Kate here at the Railroad's hideout.